students from Loudoun County, Woodgrove, and Gonzaga College High meet today on It's Academic. Hello everybody, I'm Hillary Howard. So happy you're with us on this Saturday in our 61st season. Thanks to title sponsor, David M. Rubenstein, encouraging you to read, learn, get involved and make a difference. And thanks to platinum sponsor, MITRE. MITRE is a bridge and convener of government, industry and academia, bringing together the whole of nation to tackle some of the biggest challenges of the 21st century. Here to tackle some of our questions today are the uh, students from Loudoun County High School. Let's meet them. Hey, Brighton, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Brighton Liu. I'm a senior at Loudoun County High School. I do theater as well as academic team, and I would like to thank our teacher and staff and also our forefathers, Tom, Jack, and Trish. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, we miss them. Tell them hello. And Quinn, hi. Hello, I'm Quinn Bertrand from Loudoun County. Uh, I'm an academic team coordinator. And we would like to thank our wonderful alternates, Aiden and Pearson. And finally, uh, Max, hello. What are you up to? Hello, I'm Max Linville. I'm also a senior at Loudoun County High School. And I like to build rockets in my free time and do math problems. And I'd like to thank our coach, Miss Hefty, for putting up, as Cameron said last year, with our crazy. Beautiful. Well, let's get to this, huh? Uh, in this opening round, questions are worth 20 points. Nothing off for a wrong answer. Here's the first question. The race is on. You can race your way to 20 points if you can find here the hidden name of what chief Greek goddess, the wife of Zeus. Hera? Yes, it's Hera. You'll get 20 points, not one, if you fill in the blanks to get the last name of what naval hero of the American Revolution. Answer in three, two, one, John Paul Jones, Manx to Moros. You'd look in this volume of an old encyclopedia to learn about what 20th century Chinese Communist Party chairman whose rule led to millions of deaths. Mao Zedong. That's right. Telephone, barometer, Teflon. These three inventions were not developed in this order. Please arrange them in chronological order. Conferring. Uh, uh, barometer first, I would think. And then telephone second, and I think telephone last. Yeah, I would agree. Final. That's it, barometer, telephone, Teflon, nicely done. If Hitler invaded hell, I'd make a favorable reference to the devil in the house of... You can complete this comment from Winston Churchill by inserting what word, naming the lower house of the British Parliament? Commons. Yes, House of Commons. Well done, Loudoun County. You have 180 points. How about we meet the team from Purcellville, Virginia at Woodgrove High School. Hello, Gwyneth. What should we know about you? Hi, I'm Gwyneth McGrath. I'm a senior from Woodgrove High School and I play lacrosse. Ah, lovely. Hello, George. Tell us something about yourself. Hello, I'm George Zach from Woodgrove High School, and I'm a senior here, and I love playing soccer and snowboarding. Beautiful. And finally, hello, Wolfgang. Hi, I'm Wolfgang. Uh, I'm a senior at Woodgrove High School, and I play guitar. Nice. All right, guys. Let's dive into this first round, huh? Here's your first question, Woodgrove High School. If you remember your geography, you can find in this phrase the name of what major German city? Conferring, Berlin. Yep. Final answer, Berlin. Your final answer is right. Someone who wishes to wed in Stockholm wishes to be married in what Scandinavian country whose name can be spelled out here? Conferring, Sweden. Sweden, yep. Final answer, Sweden. It is Sweden. Padua to Pope. This volume of an encyclopedia would have an entry on what man who furthered the American Revolution by writing pamphlets like Common Sense? Conferring, Thomas Paine. Yeah, Thomas Paine. Yep. Final answer, Thomas Paine. It is, Thomas Paine, nice. Predator drone, camera, radar. Please arrange these three inventions in chronological order. All right, conferring, 
Um, I'm gonna say radar, wait, radar camera predator drone. It's camera radar that's changed. Which one you think? I'd say radar camera then predator drone. Final answer: radar camera predator drone. Nah, the camera came first. Remember all those old pictures? Yeah. A man is as old as his. To complete this quote from a 17th century physician, add what type of blood vessels such as the aorta that carry blood away from the heart? A conferring artery? I just said that. Right. Um, final answer, artery? Yeah, that's a good one. You've got it right. It's artery. Beautifully done, Woodgrove. You've got 180 points. Time to meet the team from Gonzaga College High School here in Washington, D.C. Hey, Nick, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and I'd like to thank our moderators, Mr. Kilner and Mr. Hedricks. Beautiful. And hello, John. Hi, um, my name is John Corso. I'm a 16-year-old uh, junior at Gonzaga, and I would like to thank uh, all the team members from the trivia team that practice with us. Okay, and Luke, hi. Hi, I'm Luke. I'm a 15-year-old sophomore, and I'd like to thank my friends and family who've supported me along the way. All right, gentlemen, let's do this. Here's the opening round. First question for Gonzaga. You can answer this question with a degree of confidence if you find in this phrase the hidden name for what European country bordering the Aegean Sea? Conferring. Greece. Greece, final answer, Greece. Greece it is. Blank rug, blank gulf. What same word referring to an ancient empire should you place in these blanks to identify a valuable kind of rug and a Middle East gulf? Uh, conferring. Uh, so John Luke, Arabian, Arab I think I think you want to put Persian. 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 Okay. A final answer, Persian. Persian, it is nice teamwork. Calculus to Coca. You'd look in this volume of an old encyclopedia to learn about what African American scientist who found many new uses for the peanut. Uh, conferring. Uh, uh, Carver. Okay. Final answer, Carver. Yes, it is. George Washington Carver. Transistor, sewing machine, dishwasher. Please arrange these inventions according to the dates in which they were invented, starting with the earliest. Conferring. Uh, so, John or Luke, do you know which, do you know the dates for any of these? I think the sewing machine came after the dishwasher, so I think you'd be and I think the transistor came before. What do you guys think? I do need an answer, guys. Yeah, final answer, uh, uh, sewing machine, dishwasher, transistor. Yeah, you got there. Bacchus has drowned more men than, according to this quote, Bacchus, the god of wine, has destroyed more men than what Roman god of the sea, the counterpart of the Greek Poseidon? Conferring. Uh, is it Neptune? Confer okay, final answer, Neptune. Yes, it's Neptune. Well done, Gonzaga. You've got 200 points. You ready for some pictures? We have the picture perfect round coming at you next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, Learn, get involved, and make a difference. It is time for the Picture Perfect Round, teams. In this round, questions are worth 20 points up or down. 10 points off if you don't answer. Loudoun County, you're up first. Here's the first question. These intricately decorated objects are actually the eggs of what largest bird? Inferring ostrich? Yeah. Final ostrich. 
Ostrich is right. The lupin plant is quite efficient at replenishing the soil supply of what gaseous element that makes up 78% of the air we breathe? Nitrogen. Nitrogen is right, yeah. This is St. Catherine, who was associated with what Egyptian port city that in ancient times had a great library? Alexandria. Yes, it's Alexandria, 240 points, Loudoun County. Woodgrove, you ready for the picture perfect round? Yeah, okay, good, because we're starting. Here's the first question. An example of Mayan handiwork. The handles on this cup represent what J-initialed South American feline similar to a leopard? Um, conferring, jaguar. Final answer, jaguar. It is jaguar, nice. The red square on this chart covers what metal that forms strong alloys used in bank vaults? Its symbol is MN. Conferring. Do you guys know this? Yeah. Need an answer? Uh, Wolfgang? Manganese? That's it. Yeah, manganese, right. This bird can be seen in the Georgia State Park, named for what Native American tribe that settled mostly in Florida? Conferring um, in Florida, uh, that would be Cherokee. Final answer, you guys have any? I have nothing else. Well, you. All right, final answer, Cherokee. Nah, it's Seminoles, but Woodgrove, you did a nice job, 200 points. Time to play the picture perfect round, Gonzaga. Here's the first clue. Native only to Australia, this is what unusual egg-laying amphibious mammal? Conferring. Uh, Platypus. Okay, final answer, platypus. It is the duck-billed platypus, yes. This slim statue dates from what age, named for a metallic alloy of copper and tin? Conferring. Is it uh, bronze? Okay, final answer, bronze. Yeah, it is the Bronze Age. Victorious at the Alamo. This is what Mexican general who was defeated several weeks later at the Battle of San Jacinto? Conferring. Is that Santa Ana? Okay, final answer, Santa Ana. Santa Ana is right, and Gonzaga, that gives you a score of 260 points. The coaches are an important part of its academics, so we're going to meet them next. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know a Spanish nobleman named Bernardo de Galvez provided crucial assistance in the American Revolution? De Galvez was Spanish governor of Louisiana in 1777. He helped provide weapons for the Continental Army when the British blockaded East Coast ports. He also attacked and defeated British forces in Florida. In 2014, Congress made him an honorary citizen of the United States. I'm David Rubenstein reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. It is time to meet the coach from Loudoun County High School, Brighton, who has this honor? Uh, our coach is Ms. Mel Hefty, our also a calculus teacher at Loudoun County High School. Wonderful, Ms. Hefty, so glad to have you with us. And you're not really in Seattle? <laughs> or you just not. like that image? Ah. I'm not. Well, Pike's Place Market is a pretty cool place, so I don't blame you for putting it up there. Um, it must be rewarding to work with these students because it's rewarding for us. It absolutely is. Um, these three wonderful seniors have been a part of academic team pretty much since freshman year. So I am just the luckiest coach in the entire world to get to spend <laughs> time every week with the, these wonderful young men. That's awesome. We're really grateful that you're here with us. Thank you, Coach Hefty. Of course. And we're so happy to have the team. Loudoun County. This is the packet round. Questions are worth 20 points. Nothing off for a wrong answer. And if you get all the questions right, there's that beautiful 25 point bonus. Here's the first question. Composer Giacomo Puccini celebrated the success of his opera, La Boheme, by buying what two wheeled vehicle featured in the Tour de France? Bicycle. Bicycle is right. Opposing sailors may have had a sinking feeling when faced with what famous fleet of 130 ships and 30,000 men that Spain sent against England in 1588. Armada. Armada is right. Here's the science question. 
brine bitumen bronchiole. Which of these terms refers to an impure mixture of hydrocarbons that can be used to pave roads? Conferring? Max? Uh, is it, Quinn, do you know this? It, I think it might be bitumen. You can try this. Let's go with it. Bitumen final. Oh, that was nice. You're right. Founded in 1551, one of the oldest universities in the Western Hemisphere is in what South American nation, the center of the Inca civilization? Peru. It is Peru, and it's La Universidad Nacional Mayor de San Marcos, in case you were wondering. A real event in her Alabama hometown inspired what author to write the best-selling book, To Kill a Mockingbird? Conferring. Answer. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> and three, two, one. You're going to know it when I say it. Harper Lee. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression if x equals 6. Conferring, is it just 4? Yeah, it's 4. 4. It is just 4. The first time the Supreme Court overturned a law passed by Congress was in 1803, when what man sued Secretary of State James Madison? Marbury? Yeah, Marbury versus Madison. Fabulous job, Loudoun County. You have 360 points. Time to meet the coach from Woodgrove High School. Gwyneth, who's with you? Hi. Today we have Miss Barrett, our physics teacher, with us today. She's been a really great help this season and through last season. And so we're really happy to have her. Awesome. Miss Barrett, tell us what it's like to work with this team. Um, well, most of our team is new, with the exception of Gwyneth. And so I'm really proud of Gwyneth today because she has been there to support her teammates the last three years, and now she's starring today. So nice job, team. Thank you so much, Coach Barrett. We're happy to have Gwyneth, too, and George, and Wolfgang. And now, guys, time for the packet round. Climate change and loss of ice are threatening the survival of what flightless birds native to Antarctica? Uh, conferring penguins. Yep. Final answer, penguins. Yep, it's penguins. According to one legend, Stonehenge was created by what magician who worked his magic at King Arthur's court? Conferring Merlin. Yeah, it's Merlin. Here's your science question. Cadmium, sodium, radon. Which of these elements is used in the control rods of nuclear reactors because of its high absorption of neutrons? Conferring. I think it's radon. Uh, okay. So radon is a gas and it's so not. cadmium? I'd say cadmium. Final answer, cadmium. Nice teamwork. You got that one right, cadmium. The ancient Roman equivalent of a superhighway was what major road that ran from Rome to Brindisi? Confer Silk Road? Oh no, but pass. Yeah, you know this, it's the Appian Way. You find lots of troubled adolescents in the books of what American author who created Holden Caulfield in The Catcher in the Rye? Uh, confer J.D. Salinger? Yes, go with that. J.D. Salinger? Yeah, it is, absolutely. Here's your math question. If lines AB and CD are parallel, What's the measure of angle Y in degrees? Over 60 degrees. Yes. Final answer, 60 degrees. 60 is correct. McDonald's has its Big Mac, but Little Mac was the Civil War nickname of what Union general who got chewed up in the presidential election of 1864? Confer uh, Douglas MacArthur. Um, We'll do that. MacArthur? Nah, the answer is George McClellan. Woodgrove, you did a nice job. 300 points. Well, you know, Gonzaga's not doing this alone. So, Nick, why don't you tell us about your coach? So, this is our first year coach, Mr. Kilner. He's an alumni class of 2016. Awesome. Hello, Mr. Kilner. Great to see you back. Tell us about your team. Are they inspiring to you? Yeah, no, it's been awesome to practice with them. They do a really good job uh, coming up every week. We've been doing it a couple times a week. 
with all their busy schedules, they still made the time to practice. So I'm really excited to see how they're doing so far. Well, great to have you with us, Coach Kilner. And now, Gonzaga, you get to play the packet round. Here's your first question. After drifting in the North Atlantic for 100,000 years, an iceberg was hit by what ocean liner in 1912? Tinfering, uh, the ti Titanic. Final answer, Titanic. Titanic, yes. On April 3rd, 1865, a Union Army officer raised the U.S. flag over the State House in what Virginia city, the longtime capital of the Confederacy? Conferring R Richmond. Okay, final answer, Richmond. Yep, it's Richmond. Here's your science question. Imprinting, adaptation, homogeneous reaction. Which of these terms refers to the process whereby young animals learn to recognize both their mothers and others in their species? Conferring uh, adaptation, I assume? J John, Luke? Need an answer, guys? Uh, you just go with it. Okay, final answer, adaptation. That's imprinting. The Last Great Revolution is the title of a book about the 1979 revolution in what Mideast country where Tehran is capital? Uh, conferring, is it Iran? So Tehran, okay, Ca uh, final answer is uh, Iran? Yes, it is, nice. Since 1903, readers have been wild about the call of the wild by what American author? Conferring, uh, Jack London. Okay, final answer, Jack London? Yep, Jack London. Math question. Perform the multiplication indicated here, giving your answer as an integer. Okay, five, conferring, so uh, one-fifth of five, uh, three, right? Yeah, you got it. Although he had opposed harsh taxes on the colonists, what British general volunteered to fight in the American Revolutionary War but was forced to surrender at Yorktown? Uh, conferring uh, Cornwallis. Okay, final answer, General Cornwallis. That is a good answer. It was Cornwallis. Gonzaga, you've got 380 points. We like lightning on its academic, particularly the lightning round. Stay where you are. It's next. I'm David Rubenstein, and I believe giving back is something we all can do. Students are getting involved in their communities in many important ways. I've asked them to share with us how they're making a difference. Hi, my name is Daniel Rundy and I'm a senior at St. Stephen's and St. Agnes School in Alexandria, Virginia. I'm co-founder of Conectando Culturas, an initiative that seeks to connect American high school students with vulnerable populations in Mexico. The project started in 2020 where me and my friend taught English on Zoom to teachers from Chiapas. The next year in 2021, we expanded the program, recruited more high school students to teach, and we taught women from Oaxaca. These women were artisans, young women studying STEAM, and women in the hotel industry. I'm proud of this project because we were able to connect two cultures. Like these students, you too can help improve the lives of so many people by volunteering in your town and community. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Okay, Loudoun County, ready for some fun? Yeah! It is the lightning round. In this round, you've got 45 seconds to answer as many as 10 questions. They're worth 20 points, up or down, nothing off, if you pass. Ready? All your answers must begin with the letters G, A, that's G as in garden, and A, in three, two, one. There are four quarts in this liquid measure. Gallon. Yes, this is the sacred river of India. Ganges. Yes, Libreville is the capital of this small Central African country. Gabon. Yes, this is the third letter in the Greek alphabet. Gamma. Yeah, this is Jupiter's largest moon. Pass. Ganymede. This lady sang at President Biden's inauguration. Pass. Lady Gaga. This French artist did much of his work in Tahiti. Pass. Gauguin. Uh, vampires are allegedly afraid of this onion-like vegetable. Garlic. Yeah, medieval cathedrals had these grotesque carvings at water spouts. Oh, and that's the buzzer. I know you know it. That, of course, is... 
gargoyles, right? Uh, Loudoun County, you did a really nice job. 460 points. Ready for some fun, Woodgrove? I am. It's time to play the lightning round, so let's get to it. All your answers must begin with the letters G, E. That's G as in garden and E. In three, two, one. Aladdin found this magic spirit in a bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you use this counter to detect radiation. Yes. Yes, this Apache leader appeared in Teddy Roosevelt's 1905 inaugural parade. Yes. Geronimo, Old Faithful at Yellowstone Park is this type of water spout. Either. Yeah, this major Swiss city hosted the Biden-Putin talks. Yes, when someone sneezes, we say this German word for good health. Right. Yes, this American composer wrote Rhapsody in Blue. Pass. Gershwin, this small rodent is often kept as a pet. Guinea pig. Yeah, this Black Sea country shares its name with the U.S. state. Georgia. Georgia. Yes, this is the zodiac sign. Oh, and that's the timer, but um, I know that you knew we were going for... Gemini. Gemini, yeah. Woodgrove, you did a fabulous job, 440 points. Gonzaga, it is your chance to play the lightning round. Ready? Here we go. All your answers must begin with the letters G, O. That's G as in garden and O. In three, two, one. A Harry Potter title refers to this container of fire. Goblet. Goblet. Yes, the biblical David defeated this giant. Goliath. Yes, this American scientist is known as the father of rocketry. Goddard. Pass. Yeah, this desert is in Mongolia and China. Gobi. Gobi. Yes, this search engine was created by Larry Page Google. and Sergey. Yes, this legendary knot was allegedly cut by Gordon. Alexander. Yes, this architectural term describes many medieval cathedrals. Gothic. Yes, this German author, author wrote Faust. Pass. Pass. Goethe. Capricorn is the zodiac sign of this animal. Pass. Goat. This barnyard bird supposedly lays golden eggs. Goose. Yeah! <laughs> you got to all 10 questions. Gonzaga, you did a great job, 540 points. Hey, we've got the winners coming at you next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. The scores are now official, and we begin with Woodgrove High School from Purcellville, Virginia. Gwyneth, Wolfgang, and George, 440 points. From Leesburg, Virginia, Loudoun County High School, Brighton, Quinn, and Max, 460 points. And coming back for the playoff, Gonzaga College High School in Washington, D.C., Nick, John, and Luke, 540 points, way to go. Great game, all of you were awesome. Make sure you join us next week for some more awesomeness when we have Oakton, Wakefield, and Washington Liberty. I'm Hillary Howard, so happy you spent part of your Saturday with us. See you next time, bye guys. I'm David Rubenstein, reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference.